forward, I'm going to try to make a little bit more of an effort to talk about the books I'm reading and to stay on top of, like, those kind of discussions. Because lately it feels like I've been juggling so many books at once, it's been difficult to really really talk about any of them at length or like how I feel about them or like this or that. And like, I don't think I've made a book video since like Salamandastron. I want to say Uh, maybe there was some other thing, but like, you know, I I usually talk about manga and the, the reason for that is like manga is so easily digestible. You can get through like an entire volume of manga in like 40 minutes and then just be like, okay, like, you know, here's what happened with the plot. Like this, 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 I like this, you know, cool artwork. I like the sequence. I like that for books. Like it takes significantly longer, especially since so many of the books I'm currently reading are like massive. You know, like I'm talking like entire collections of classic fantasy novels and and like from just classic writers in general. It's been really difficult staying on top a lot of uh, of a lot of uh, a lot of things, right? And like talking about them. And I've been trying to isolate. I've been trying to like you know get through books one at a time. And uh, right now I've. Um, I've been struggling finding things to read. It feels like everything I've tried is boring. It doesn't really uh, resonate with me all that well. But there has been a surprising, surprising gem recommended to me by uh, ChatGBT, of all things. I had it, like, recommend me a, a, a couple of books, and I, I checked out all of them. And uh, I think the first one I read was The Night Circus. Now, I remember, you know, reading this book, like, reading the summary, and just being, like really taken in by it. Like, I remember, like, going through the first couple of pages and being, like, really taken in by, like, the world and the creativity and, like, its strange abstract charm. Because this is not a novel that really uh, explains what's happening all that clearly. It's just a bunch of beautiful prose about, like, these circus performers who use, like, real magical powers. This extraordinary circus that just kind of exists. And I found myself, like, really getting into it, like, immediately. Like, the characters were incredibly charming. They had a lot of personality. uh, Positive and negative traits, actually. You have, like, you know, this abusive father, uh, this abusive man who uh, realizes he has a daughter and, like, trains her to be, like, his successor and then, like, uh, has her compete against another magician in this uh, in this circus, right? Like, and it's all, like, very vague. It's very abstract. Like, you don't really know what's going on at any given point. And I, I would argue that's both a strength and a weakness. Because for one thing, like, you get invested in, like, the main characters, you know, Marco, Celia, you know, her father, like, uh, the... Some some of the cast members is uh, Isabel, right? You get invested in like so, the main characters, the important ones, and then like the story always segue, uh, segues into like other characters, like that love talking about how great the circus is and how mystique uh, and its mystique and like its unique culture and stuff like that. And like it's so easy to kind of I feel as if the the main the main story, you know, about like the characters is incredibly interesting. Like, I have not been engaged with a book I've never read before since, uh, I think I read On Stranger Tides earlier this year, which I do, I, I would say is probably better than this. But, like, you know, when it's, like, when it's focused on the main characters, when it's focused on, like, the main conflict, when it's focused on, like, you know, the drama and, like, the, the main interesting characters, like, I'm really interested in it. But, like, when it comes to, like, the side cast, when it comes to, like, you know, the, the world building and, like, emphasizing how great this the circus is, I feel like, okay, we, we've seen this already, we know, okay? Like, it feels like it, it kind of the story kind of wants to have more characters than the story really needs, right? And I, and I think in a lot of ways, it just gets in the way of what makes this, like, such a good, charming read. And I, and I do really mean that. It, it is a very beautifully written little book. And uh, I, every time I pick it up, like, I, I really find myself getting sucked in. I really find myself, like, really seeing, like... Uh, myself at this circus and like seeing these incredible performances and just really getting invested in it and like uh, again the a problem with the book is just like it feels like it takes place over like a period of several years but like it feels like there's a lot of blank spot a a, a lot of blank spot uh spots in between like these you know the, the circus and then like it appearing and it disappearing and it being established and like like it feels like 
hmm, it almost feels like the novel is a little bit too ambitious, is, is kind of the way I would describe it. Because there are moments, like usually when I'm reading this, I, I find myself really getting absorbed in it and really, really enjoying it. And like just really just getting invested in these characters and these worlds and like the... The, the the setting and stuff like that it's so magical it's so well done and then like we we segue to like a, a character we've never heard of before and like we we go through their issue like uh their situation and how they interact with the night circus and like you know there's this bit with like this random kid who's dared to go in there and like some girl like sends him away like i don't i don't know like if that's gonna come back in any way shape or form i'm, I'm sure it will but like in the moment i'm just kind of like okay like is is does this really need to be there and honestly like for a good chunk of these segments like i i really do feel as if uh you know, a lot of it is unnecessary. You know, I would rather the protagonist simply be like Celia and Marco, right? You know, two really interesting characters that I loved immediately, right? Like these are, uh, Celia in particular might be one of my favorite characters I've seen in a, in a long time, like from a, from, a, from a book, right? Like I found her really interesting right from the get-go with a really interesting setup with like, you know, being being the daughter of, like, a magician with actual magic powers, right? You know, I loved the way she was, like, abused and treated and, like, you know, trained for this, like, competition, right? Like, I thought it was, like, interesting. And especially, like, now that she's an adult, like, seeing her, like, deal with, like, uh, the ghost of her father who's, like, still father following her around. Like, again, like, magic. But, like, like it's really, really engaging, right? Like, I love the character. I have so much praise and appreciation for her. And of course, like her rival Marco is also equally interesting, uh, with like his his romance with this girl he meets on the street of London. I, I think it is, I, I believe it's London. Yeah, and like you know his revelations about Celia and like the way it's looking, like the way it's looking right now where I'm at is that like he's slowly starting to fall in love with her, which is uh, I don't know. It's so cute. It's so charming. And like I uh, I really, 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 really love it. I uh, I think this is probably a relatively recently published book i, I don't know uh, I, I think it's fairly new but like I, I think this is probably one of the better modern books i've read in a long time i i, I just really really enjoy it and i i really highly recommend that you check it out